Good morning, Chief Shikalemi. Mrs. Glodek here with your morning announcements for April 19th, 2020. Today's weather will be partly cloudy skies in the morning, followed by overcast skies in the afternoon with a high of 60 degrees. We have no birthdays today, but I do have a joke for you. Why do bees have sticky hair? Think about that and I'll give you the answer in a minute. This week, we're going to be celebrating Earth Day. Earth Day isn't actually until Wednesday, but you can help take care of the Earth every day. Every day should be Earth Day. I have a couple of fun facts for you. A faucet dripping at one drop per second weighs 2,700 gallons of water per year. Here's another one. You can run a TV for six hours on the amount of electricity saved by recycling just one aluminum can. And another. One million plastic bottles are bought every minute. Very little of that gets recycled. A lot ends up in our landfill and in the ocean. So you can do your part by using a reusable bottle. Remember, all the small acts by millions of people really do add up. Keep that in mind as you do your little part. The little things do matter. And here's one of my favorite quotes by Dr. Seuss in his book, The Lorax. Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. Here's a challenge for this week. Find some things around your home, such as plastic containers or cardboard, and make something, a craft project, out of some recyclable materials. And another thing you can do is go out into your yard or your neighborhood on a walk with a trash bag and pick up the litter that you see. But remember to use a glove because you don't want to be touching the dirty trash. And finally, here is our, um, the answer to our riddle. Why do bees have sticky hair? Hmm. Well, because they use honeycombs. All right, I hope you have a great week and do something nice for the earth this week. Miss you, bye.